Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video you are going to learn how to save new Twitter photos on to Dropbox automatically. So let's see what is happening here. So you have tweeted a new photo here on Twitter and you want to save that same photo on Dropbox. Alright, now let's talk about the applications we are using. So Twitter is a microblogging and networking application in which you users can interact with messages known as tweets. And Dropbox is a file hosting service in which you can upload and save your personal files and folders in a cloud storage. Alright, now let's suppose that you are a journalist, social media activist or a photographer who have a huge audience base on Twitter. So, you post many photos on Twitter on regular basis and for a record or as a backup you want to save the, those same photos that you tweet here in a Dropbox. So to do this you have two ways. One is that whenever you post a new tweet or a photo here on Twitter you are going to download that photo and then upload at Dropbox account. All right. Now guys, this process can be very repetitive, tiresome and problematic. So we have a better way for you. What if I tell you that as and when you tweet a new photo here on Twitter, that same photo get automatically stored in your Dropbox storage. Yes guys, this can happen and this can be done by connecting Twitter with Dropbox. But the issue is there is no direct connection or integration present between Twitter and Dropbox. So to connect these two applications, I am using a software called as Pabli Connect. So guys, Pabli Connect is an integration and automation software and the best part of it is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge to make this connection between Twitter and Dropbox. So now let me give you a demo on my screen of how this connection between Twitter and Dropbox is going to work in real time. So guys, this is my Twitter account and this is my Dropbox account and this is a folder in my Dropbox account with the name as Twitter files. Now what I'm going to do, I'll post a photo here in my Twitter account and we will see if that same photo will be saved here in my Dropbox account or not. So I'm going to post a new tweet here. So let me first write a caption. Morning. So this is the tweet I have created morning view of my home garden clicked by my S200 camera and these are the hashtags I have put on and this is the photo that I have uploaded. So now I'm going to let you in my Dropbox account and we will see if there is a for the same photo gets saved there or not. All right. So I'm tweeting this photo by clicking here on tweet. All right. So the post is shared all right so now let's see in the dropbox account so you can see in my dropbox account there is a photo and this is the same photo i can show you so this is the same photo that i have uploaded and tweeted here in my twitter account and the same photo gets saved here in my dropbox account in this folder twitter files all right so Twitter use polling techniques to send the data so it might take few minutes like 5 to 10 minutes to get your photo saved here but uh, it will be saved as you can see. So now you guys are wondering how I managed to bring this photo here without any manual uploading of photo just by tweeting a post here and the photo gets saved here. So guys now let me show you the steps by which you can also make this connection or integration between Twitter and Dropbox. So guys, these are the three easy steps by which you can also make this integration or connection between Twitter and Dropbox. So first of all, step one is connect Pabli Connect to Twitter account. So we have to open Pabli Connect first and connect our Twitter account with Pabli Connect. Step two is collect the data from Twitter to Pabli Connect. So in second step, we'll, we are going to collect the data from Twitter to Pabli Connect. 
And step three is send the same data to Dropbox to save the file or photo. So in the last step, we are going to bring the collected data from Pebbly Connect to Dropbox and save the file here. All right. Now let's switch to our step one and open Pebbly Connect. So first of all, you have to open your browser and type P-A-B-B-L-Y that is Pebbly.com. So this is the landing page of Pebbly. From here, put your cursor on this products and click on connect. So from here, you can sign up your free Pebbly Connect account by clicking here on sign up free button, which I have already done. So I'm clicking on this sign in, sign in directly. So this is the all apps section of Pebbly. From here, you have to come to this connect panel and click on access now. So this is the dashboard of Pavli Connect. To start working here, you have to create workflows like these. So create to create a workflow, click on this create workflow button on the top right corner. And here you have to enter a name to your workflow so you can give any relevant name. So I am giving it as Twitter photos to Dropbox. All right, or Dropbox folder, folder, let's say. Now I'm clicking on create here. So as your workflow get created, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So Pabli Connect work on these two things. The trigger says when this happens, action says Pabli Connect do this. All right, as in our use case, the trigger would be a new photo tweeted here in Twitter and the action would be the same photo photo get saved here in Dropbox folder. All right. So now I'm clicking on this trigger option and from here from the choose app, you have to choose your application as Twitter TWI. This is Twitter. All right, after selecting the application, choose the trigger event as new tweet. This is new tweet. After this, this connect button will appear. So click on this connect button. And from here, select this add new connection like this. Then click on connect with Twitter. So this window will open up and uh, it will ask for authorization of the app. So click on authorize app button and your Twitter account will be authorized like this. As you can see, it is showing connected. That means we are connected with our Twitter account. After this, when you click on, uh, now it is time for our second step. Let me show. So our second step is collect the data from Twitter to Pabli Connect. So now we are going to collect the data from Twitter account and bring it here on Pabli Connect. Let's do this. So in Pabli Connect, when I click here on save and send test request, Pabli Connect will fetch the data of any tweet from our Twitter account to here in Pabli Connect. All right. So I'm clicking here like this. And you can see it is showing this type of response here. So it is saying that it has captured the data of the tweet tweeted at January 31 Wednesday at this time. All right. So it took a random data from uh, our Twitter account. And uh, this is the text which we have in the post Ten plus best, best subscription management. This is the post we have. All right. And it is showing this type of data, the links and all the things we have. So this is how it will capture the data. Now, what do we have to do? It is time for our next step. Let me show you the next step. So our third and the final step is send the same data to Dropbox to save the file or photo. So now we are going to bring the collected data from Pabli Connect to Dropbox and save our photo here. Let's do this. So as you can see, the data is captured from our Twitter account. And this is the post that we have captured. So I can show you the post also. This is the tweet actually that the data of the tweet that has been captured by Pabli. So this is 10 plus best subscription management and recurring billing software by Pabli. This is the tweet 
we have posted it at January 31 and this is the same data that we have captured here. Now what we are going to do in the final step we are going to click on this action and from the choose app choose the application as Dropbox. So this is Dropbox and from the action event select the action event as upload file. Now click on connect and from here select this add new connection and then click on connect with Dropbox. Alright, so the authorization is successful as I have already logged in in my Dropbox account. It might, it might ask you for uh, the, the account, the account you have in Dropbox in a, another window which in which you have just have to select your account and the authorization will be successful like this. Now it is showing these fields, the file URL. So here we have to map the data that we have captured and in the file URL when you click here you will find this Twitter new tweet option alright so when I click here you will find the data we have already captured here like this alright so this is the data we, ha we have captured and it is asking here the file URL that means the URL of the file which we want to save so when you click here you will find a URL called as uh, the media URL so you will find the media URLs like this. So you have to map this jpg.jpg .jpg media URL. This is the media zero media URL. So just map it from here only like this. Or then it will ask for this file name. So when you click here in this file name option, you will find the file name as uh, you can enter this screen name pavli 18 which is the name of the account and you can read here in the help text you have to put the file name as uh, this pably.png alright so whatever you map here you have to enter .png so let's see if we have uh, .png so we do not have .png here but you just map this account name from here like this and manually put .png so that it will it will be saved as a png file so now in the folder path you have to enter the name of the folder in which you want to save this file in Dropbox. So let me show you my Dropbox account and in this Dropbox we have this Twitter files folder. So I have made this folder for this purpose only. Alright so you can see is, this is the Twitter files folder. So you have to enter the name of this folder here in Pavli Connect like this. So you have to put a slash like this here in uh, folder path option put a slash like this and just uh, enter the name of this folder so I'm just copying this and entering here so so now when I click here on save and send test request this file will be saved here in the Dropbox which file let me show you so this is the photo we have in this tweet 10 plus best subscription which and this is the data we have yet captured here in this step all right so now i'm clicking on save and send test request and it is showing this type of response here like this all right now let's see in the dropbox account so you can see in my dropbox account in this twitter files folder Another photo is added and this is the same photo that we had in the uh, in this Twitter tweet. So this is the same photo and this is the same photo gets saved here. That means our connection with Twitter and Dropbox is working properly. Now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all in the trigger option we selected Twitter as an application. Then we selected the trigger event. We connected the trigger uh, we connected our Twitter account and then we collected the data from our Twitter account by clicking here like this in Pavli Connect. Then we connected uh, in the action window, we connected our Dropbox account. We map the file link. We enter the file name. We map the folder path in which we want to save the file. And when I click on save and send test, I showed you that the file is saved here. Alright, now just click on save. So guys, this is it for today's video. 
If you want any other type of integration, you can contact us at admin at the rate pebbly .com. You can ask your queries and discuss it from this forum and check the pricing of this software from this link. And guys, as we did today, you can make many different type of integration using many different softwares by Pebbly Connect and automate your business with Pebbly Connect. So guys, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching this video.